Yo guys, what's going on? I am the People's Dude, and we're doing something a little different today. <laughs> got a little conference I want to spectate, I want to watch this. So, I got it all set up, we're good to go, and in two minutes, we will start. Two, two minutes, we're going to start up with um, E3, Square Enix Conference. Let's see what I can do. Um... Let me see something real quick. Darn. Okay. Okay. Well, whatever. How much time anyways? I was going to see if I can put like a little timer right above my face cam um, to signify how much time we got left, but we only got a minute left, so we only got a minute. So here it goes. This is the most unpatient minute ever. I just gotta say, this is like... It's 12.59, why can't it just be one right now? Why can't it just be one? Come on. Come on. Okay. One. Where are we at, though? Ooh. Okay, here we go. Here we go. The journeys we will take. The demons we will face. The heroes we will become. Our next chapter is about to begin. Welcome to the Square Enix E3 Showcase 2018. Yes. Square <laughs> Square Till the very end. Hmm. Is a it's very specific. Life, when we must make a choice, let the world shape our destiny, or fight to become who we're meant to be. Okay, is this our crown? Yeah, I think that was Naughty Dog. Yeah, I don't know what this is. I honestly don't know what this is. Oh, you're probably just sweaty. Well, this seems like a conundrum. Yeah, a bit of a conundrum. Okay, so yeah, it is Little Croft. It is Little Croft. Okay. Okay. I'm glad we had this information. Dead. Hi, my name is Daniel Shaibso, 
game director at Eros Montreal. You have just seen the beginning of Shadow the Tomb Raider, which will deliver on Lara Croft's defining moment as she raised to stop a Maya apocalypse. Lara will have to confront a brutal jungle environment in order to survive. And even though that she's more confident and more capable, she will still be outgunned and outnumbered by Trinity. She will have to use everything she learned from the jungle and use it in order to survive. We call this becoming one with the jungle. Let's take a look what this means for gameplay. Yeah, I like to map. You guys come through here. Scout team, Croft is on a vector towards your position. I say again, Croft is coming to you. Jesus Christ! Shh. We'll get her, sir. Oh. Show me her corpse and your entire. This has an Assassin's Creed feel to it. Dude, you shot his arm and he didn't like die. That was awesome. <laughs> Play way too many retro. Is that poison? Must have been poison arrow or something. This feels like Assassin's Creed. Except almost better. <laughs> What is that? Is that a bottle? All right. Dang, this is this is a lot more mature than what I was expecting from Square. Honestly, I dig the Assassin's Creed vibe it has. I um okay, I dig the whole survival vibe it has going for it. I like it. Can you spell me a bit? Gotta check in with Maltese. Sure. Gives me something to do. Hey, you know Maltese's access code? 010353 Mike. Hey, heading over there now. Boom, headshot. Boom, headshot. This place is empty. Why? How dare you not say yeet? How dare you not yeet this place? Can't get me. Took the, uh, the old, uh, dead meme counter off for the day. Can't get me with the whole add another point to dead meme counter because I said yeet. She's straight up crouching everywhere she goes. Dang. Wouldn't those guys first see the booty and be like, yeah, there she is. First let's kill her and then let's spend an hour doing something else. I mean, staring at the booty. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Well, that was, uh, that worked. That you like what you've just seen. There's so much depth to the combat, but we cannot wait to show you more. Did he say the depth or death? I think there was both. Running. We even have a full 360 degree underwater swimming, which means full underwater exploration and survival. We have also one of the biggest hub we ever created in any Tomb Raider game, featuring a hidden city. And of course, we have tomb. We have more of them, and they're deadlier than ever before. But for now, we're going to leave you with a video that will give you a taste of what to expect out of Shadow the Tomb Raider and how Lara Croft becomes the Tomb Raider that she is today. Okay, so this is probably a trailer. Yeah. 
And that was a Tigger. And damn. Is that an Indian tribe? Yeah, it looks like she's gonna get herself in some, uh, conundrums here. Okay, there's the release date. It's September 14th, 2018. The road ahead is uncertain and fraught with danger. But we stand together, for we are the warriors of light, ready for whatever new challenges and surprises. Is this an ad? I seriously thought that was... I think I have issues. I thought that was an advertisement. That is Final Fantasy. I'm a little bad with my Final Fantasy. Jeez. Final Fantasy 15. Under the Moonlight. Okay. That looks pretty cool. Orin? I think that's Orin. Nope. Here's me thinking that was Orin because I know he's from Final Fantasy. But we're still in Final Fantasy, that's why. Um, I still think it was Final Fantasy, I don't know. Yeah. Okay, it's both. Why would you say it's summer 2018? It's already summer. <laughs> Just say the release date. That looks pretty cool. Oh wait, that's 14. Yeah, okay, that's... Maybe it's BX. Okay, what's this? I've seen this on YouTube. Captain Spirit is ready for battle. Hi everyone, my name is Michel Corp. And my name is Raoul Barbet. We are the two creative directors of Life is Strange at Dontman Entertainment. As you may know, we have just revealed the awesome adventures of Captain Spirit. It's a brand new story in the Life is Strange universe. And this full experience will be available to download for free on the 26th of June. To us, Life is Strange is not a single town or set of characters. Captain Spirit is our way for introducing the players to the many stories we want to tell in this expanded universe. Captain Spirit is not Life is Strange too, but it will be your first steps into this world. The game is hiding many secrets and even some links to the brand new story and characters of Season 2. So make sure you take all your time to explore. We cannot wait for you to experience Chris's story. We hope you will enjoy it. Um, have a great history and from all the Life is Strange team at Don't Nod, thank you. Thank you. Bye bye. Huh. Interesting. Now I just need to make a cool costume for Captain Spirit. That's cool because that's like a little child 
wonder vibe to it. Don't know what to make of that, honestly. It's, wait, that's free? Huh. That's interesting. Tragedy have followed you since birth. Okay, got him. What is it? Middle age vibe. Cruel fate's dark plan has stalked you to the corners of the earth. You've brushed with death a thousand times, yet still you have your life. It is your fate to save this world. For this, you must survive. Bright luminary, let the light shine on the world again. The song makes me want to laugh. Looks okay. Huh. this this looks kind of cool actually Intrigued by this. So I don't know what this is. <sighs> Do not lose heart. Remember Dragon Ball? Back. Until your time is through. I don't know. Dragon Quest Eleven. Hmm. Gold Luminary, we swear to protect you. That looks pretty cool. While we live, none shall defeat you. Yep. We're all in this together. Show us what you've got. Let's do this. Lead on, darling. Got it. That's interesting. Uh, when's it come out? I'm bad with numbers. Uh, September. Okay. Oh, this has a dungeon crawl kind of vibe to it. Okay, so yeah, September. Looks kind of cool. I got nothing for this. This kind of reminds me of Lord of the Rings. What is this? I swear this is going to be the game we're going to play today is what is this?
I just have so many questions. Babylon's Fall. Huh. Well, that's interesting. It's gonna be on PS4. That's awesome. That looks kind of cool. And mysterious. Yeah. And then. Okay. Coming out next year. It looks kind of cool. A masterpiece discovers a new home. We will take back our world from the scourge of the machine. This really doesn't involve me because I'm a PlayStation person that I'm watching anyways. So is this like an ultimate edition of a game? Near Automata. Okay. Yeah, it's become a God's edition. Okay. Become as God's, my bad. Wherever you wander, and whoever you meet along the way, the adventure will be one to remember. Eight brave souls. So it's a switch game. Scholar, merchant, warrior, dancer, apothecary. Stara, as you see fit. Whose path will you tread? Octopath Traveler. That's a hilarious name, honestly. Octopath. I thought that was spider web. I was like, dude, is that what I think it is? Just cause for okay. Welcome to Just Cause 4 and the return of Rico Rodriguez, the rogue agent on a mission that'll challenge everything and everyone he knows. Rico has arrived in the fictional South American country of Solis, the largest and most breathtaking world we've ever created. Every journey into Solis will uncover history, secrets, and danger. Never before has a Just Cause game offered greater variety, rich in all forms of life. At first glance, Solis is a beautiful location. But scratch the surface, and you will uncover oppression, fear, and violence. All enforced by Gabriella, the leader of the private militia organization, the Black Hand. Just Cause 4 takes destruction and physics simulation to a whole new level with the introduction of extreme weather. Experience towering tornadoes that can tear trees from the ground and level bridges to sticks. Yeah, I, I can see that. Unpredictable and deadly sandstorms <coughs> and roaring blizzards. Witness the spectacular destruction as they offer both a challenge to Rico as well as creating fun opportunities for creative sandbox gameplay. Hmm. Our vehicles have been totally overhauled with new additions that offer extra gameplay opportunities. Bulldozers, car transporters, cranes, and even wrecking balls are all fun in our world. We have new handling on bikes and cars as well as exotic vehicles like jet skis and micro jets. Micro jets? That's that's awesome. Fully customizable and has been overhauled to make it more intuitive for newcomers, while offering greater depth for a more experienced player. The grapple now has more tethers than ever before, and the ability to deploy booster rockets and the all-new air lifters, making the grapple an incredibly. <laughs> Just thinking of everything here. Meanwhile, a new story glues together our free-form, go-anywhere, do-anything gameplay. Just Cause is so famous for, and the stakes for Rico have never been higher. Combat and 
Just Cause 4 is better than ever. Enemies now present a far more intelligent threat to Rico. Okay. I mean, I'm always a fan of more CPU intelligence when it comes to gaming. To unparalleled draw distance is powered by the brand new best in class open world Apex engine. Pretty cool, pretty cool. Welcome to Just Cause 4. Sounds like they're going to have some weather issues in December. I got nothing on this. Yeah, I got nothing. Dang, is this like the game engine? No, this has to be a video. Um, what? Silence. That's weird. That's freaky looking. I don't know how I feel about that. For every night, there is Wait, a what? For every question, there is an answer. And for every door, there is a key. Oh, the goosebumps is real! You have my fullest attention. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. A walking, talking snow band. You really are alive. Hello. Olaf, are these our friends? Is this the same trailer as yesterday? I don't know anyone blue, green, or who's on these spikes. Look out! Is this the same trailer? Am I missing something? This is the same trailer as yesterday. Controller. No, all I ever do is hurt people. It is a different order, though. Yeah, the... got everything from yesterday. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Ratatouille! Looking Ratatouille! More gummy ship! More gummy ship! Actually, it's about the same. Still, Sora, that doesn't mean you should change. Brag. Accept the power you're given. Oh, it's Brag. Find the hearts joined to yours. The Twilight Crew! Twilight crew. Hark! And people Look out! Mr. Piggy Man! I forget his name. 
I'll order a Pete. Return, of course. And Roxas, Why? Yes. For the virtual world to be completely realized, Handsome the Wise would have included Roxas's full data in the construction. Aqua Nort. Who's that? Mickey. You're too big. Okay, I dig that. I dig that. Um, really not too much. Wait, wait, wait. Alright, there's something else. Alright, it's just a culmination of it all. Showcase 2018. Hmm. Thought it was going to be an hour. Okay. I seriously I said it was going to be from one to two, but it was one to th one thirty. That was short. I was expecting it to be a lot longer. I liked the trailer, but it just didn't really present too much new. I was glad to see Bragg, even though I knew he was already going to be there in Kingdom Hearts 3. It was nice to see him. As well as, uh... I believe his name is... Zexion, I believe? Who we saw working with Sora to try to bring Roxas back. I loved that. I loved seeing them work, try to figure out a way to bring Roxas back. And like, oh my gosh, that's so cool. They're actually trying to work for this. And like, some of the organization members are actually like helping him out. Helping Sora out. I wasn't, I was thinking it might have just been me and the other organization people might just uh, sit out for this final fight. But no, they're actually getting involved and I love that so much. Um, but yeah, some of those games, they look really nice and cool. I don't want to talk about only this, but yeah, they, they all look pretty cool and great. Square does a good job with their games. Um, and I will see you guys later for the Sony press conference. Bye.